explain why Karate Kid is a good movie. Okay, well, I had low expectations going into it, <laughs> but it was well acted. The tensions, like, I believed everything that this kid was going through, being moved to China and making friends with this maintenance man or whatever. I believed it. I just did. And I thought Jackie Chan did a good job. And I thought the filmmakers were really smart to make the kids younger because it would have felt really false. Like, in the 80s, it's fine to be, like, 16 and be like, oh, my God, I've never kissed a girl before. But now it's kind of like, you know, you have to be 12 if you're going to believe that. And I thought they did a really good job. And I thought the story beats that they hit were, yeah, it was the same plot but that's it's like they knew it it was like you could f they knew what people were going to be wanting and they didn't try to do something different they just tried to do it really well again and i thought they did spencer <laughs> there, there, there um, rebuttal yes um in response yes it is very much beat for beat the same movie but they take the same beats and cannibalize them and sanitize all the best parts of them like I want I almost feel like I have to go back and rewatch it just to get everything that they did wrong in that movie. For instance, number one, it's two and a half hours when it, it should have been a, it an hour and a half. It, it was so long. goddamn long. Number two, they tried to make it like even more fish out of watery than the first one. But every time like it was necessary, like English was so prevalent in China, it was amazing. Like he's going to like a Chinese school and everyone there is speaking English. And then it's like, oh, you're going to the tournament. It's like, oh, it just happens to say open kung fu tournament. Everything else on it says <laughs> is in Chinese. Um, and oh, yeah. like all I mean, the beats. It's a movie, but they do teach like, kids English the, at school in but China. The mom, the mom was just a nag the entire movie. <laughs> like the wax on, wax off moment was the most like weirdly extrapolated, confusing thing ever. Like I could not like in my mind understand how like putting on a jacket somehow extrapolated to like karate like at least wax on wax off you could see where he's going with it you know go up to block you go down to block it was like you put on the really jack. really like i don't can you remember the first time you saw the first karate kid did you really know you were like mr miyagi's got something up his sleeve here with this fence <laughs> i didn't but, <laughs> at, but, at, but at least at least like i could be like okay i see how that connects this one it was like throw the thing on the rack with like style throw take it off the rack put it back on i'm like I, I know I I know what he's trying to do here, and I still can't understand how this is kung fu. And then like <laughs> like the whole like death sequence where he talks about his dead wife, like yeah, Jackie Chan was decent, but like the original was so much better. Like he he puts Mr. Miyagi to sleep, and you know he like he understands the pain. This one is like fuck it, let's go train with these sticks. You know like what better shit do we have to do? It's so like abbreviated compared to the original. Yeah, um, but you have to, re again, like, the character is much younger, you the, know? But the, the romance then was really awkward. I'm watching, like, 12-year-old oh, romance. That I thought, <laughs> thought it was really awkward. And then she's, like, suggestively dancing to Poker Face in the movie. Yeah, Lady Gaga makes an appearance. In the, you mean the, they the, replaced uh, Bananarama oh, with yeah, Lady Gaga? Yeah, That's oh, terrible. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, like, yeah, she's suggestively dancing on, like, a DDR machine to oh, Lady Gaga. Oh, it was cute. <laughs> Jaden uh, yeah, Smith. Um, then, like, the whole end sequence, like, <clears throat> the montage shit, like, there was no build-up to the end sequence. Um, you know, the sweep the leg got super abbreviated. Um, I mean, there is sweep the leg, but instead they change it to break his leg. Like, I mean, if you're going to be that close, <laughs> why might as well just be, be like, same? kill him. Yeah, like, <laughs> exactly. Um, the, the Johnny character was completely, like so much more one-dimensional than even the guy in the original movie who wasn't like a deep character to begin with the crease character like I, I mean there's nothing to him really um when he does sweep the leg uh they go to like they go to fix it but then they cut out the entire sequence where they actually fix it like they do in the original movie which was an awesome so build up so it to be longer <laughs> yeah like if anything really they should have ex more. extended that period instead of like watching his low like Elizabeth Shue I, love I, like, interest play like the violin halfway, I looked what I thought would be halfway through and it was like 40 minutes and like he hadn't even 
met the main man but, yet. <laughs> like, <laughs> but then they finally get to the tournament, and the tournament's like 10 minutes at the end of the movie. It goes by so quickly. Um, there's no, like, build-up in the tournament, like, oh, my wife made this patch for your jersey. Oh, you need a black belt. Who gives a shit about belts? Blah, 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 blah. He gives him this little, like, Bruce Lee-style outfit, and he's like, hey, that's like Bruce Lee! And that's, like, the all, all they do there. And then the end, like, instead of, like, the build-up to the crane sequence, he somehow manages to do, a, like, a backflip kick to the head. Yeah. Like, totally. what the hell? That, there's no build-up to that at all. Like, suddenly he's, like, the best martial artist in the world. I really like a lot of the points that you're making are true, but I still think it was a really fun movie, and they used China so well. Like it was really nice to look at. I thought, like, I really just like enjoyed the scenery. And, and Mr. Miyagi, or Mr. Han, as yeah. he is in this movie, just happens to have like a giant house in the middle of China, because you know, this guy just got that kind of cash lying around. <laughs> Whereas, like, you know, in the original, he's like he's poor, but it's like a shitty little county. You know, he has a house in the middle of nowhere, so. Fuck it, I can understand how anyway, Somehow he has money in China to afford this house. With a nice, beautiful little courtyard in it. And... Yeah, no. Like, there's no... there's he's, no. He's grieving, okay? There's he's no got... there's no bond between him and daniel son in this. Like, he gives him the car, and he, you know, he's like, Oh, thank you, like, Mr. Miyagi. This one, there's nothing. There's no, like, bond, really. Like, what's the bond? Like, he sees him get beat up. That's about it. Like, explain to me the, like, the attachment between Mr. Han and whatever Trey, whatever. I don't know. I mean, do you really find it realistic in the first one? I find it more they believable. they would, like, be best friends? I find it more believable. <laughs> well, they're not best friends. It's a father-son. It's, like, surrogate father-son yeah. relationship Yeah, well, they, the they touch on that in this one as well. Like, his son was killed. You know, it's the same kind of thing. But there's, like, like, why, why does he take an interest in this kid? Why does he give a shit? I don't like, know. There's no evolution of their relationship. <laughs> I don't know, but the scene where they where he like defends him from all the bullies that was fun. That was a really fun. That was fight fun, scene. but that, that was like one of the few things they actually took from the original with any sort of like you know. I, don't know. I thought it was really enjoyable, and I mean, yes, like the original is a better movie from a character perspective, but I really like as a remake. I thought it was a really good remake. I don't get it. Everyone, everyone seems to feel that way. I do not get it. Well, I feel like like I have to go beat by beat about how bad everything is in that movie. <laughs> like, there's no carnival scene. They try and do this like sort of knockoff carnival scene. Like, I feel, I feel like you're saying that you're mad that they did it beat by beat, and then you're mad about the beats that they left out. Well, it's, as it's, well. it's like they took they took all the beats. And then they took the best parts of those beats and kept that. And it was sort of like, okay, you know, sweep the leg. Okay, that's great. Why not just keep it sweep the leg? Why change one word and keep it the Maybe exact same? that's like way more sinister. But, the, but, the, but, the, but then, then they're in like the dressing room in the back and it's like, like word for word, the dialogue yeah. of the original. It's like, do you think I could have won? Win or lose, no matter. Like, it was like, oh my god, they're taking the exact words out of it now. And it's I think, like, the whole tournament scene it is really obvious that this one was made, like, in the video game culture. You know, it was like a scene from it was, it was the so game much, Mortal Kombat. It was like, like wire foo all yeah. over the place. Yeah, like, the shit they was. were doing was ridiculous. It was still fun to watch, though. Like, I'm just gonna stand by that adjective. It was fun. And it was well acted, and it looked really nice, and I enjoyed myself for two and a half hours. <laughs> I feel like, if anything, I'm going to have to do my own cut of this movie and, like, take it down to, like, an hour and 20 minutes to make it tolerable. I would watch that. And still, it would be missing all the heart of the original. Boo. That's all I have to say about it.